Hello. Hi, Beverly. Yes. It's Roy from the office, the mobile home park office. Hi, how are you? I'm pretty good. How are you doing tonight? Good. What hey, can I do for you? Um, I needed to let you know that your mobile home looks dumb, and it makes the whole neighborhood like we're a trailer park. Well, what the fuck do you think this is? Well, we're a mobile home park, but you're... You're making it look like a trailer park. Like, we're one step away from being an RV park. What the fuck are you talking about? I live in a double-wide mobile home. I know, but you're, you're making it look like a trailer park. Who the fuck is this? It's Roy from the, the office. There is no Roy at the office. There is now. I, I just, I've been here like three weeks. You don't come in enough. Or you would know me. I don't care to know you. I well, I don't want to know you either because your your mobile home looks dumb. Makes What's look, wrong with my mobile home? It just looks dumb. It makes the whole neighborhood look How? like look like a trailer park. You know, I'm going to trace this phone call, motherfucker. You better not. I don't give you permission. The hell, I won't. I got a tracer on my phone. I'm tracing this phone call, and you know what? I'm going to report you. No. Please don't. You want to play fucking games, buddy? Don't report. Let's play fucking games. Don't report me, please, okay? I'm, I got two strikes. You are a piece of fucking shit. Okay. And if you call my phone again, I'll make sure you don't ever get another phone anywhere, honey. Oh, come on. Please, my please. nephew is a sheriff. <gasps> I'm reporting you to him. You want to fucking play games, buddy? Play games. Just, just, can we pretend I never called you? Beverly? I'm going to kill you. 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 Sister under the ground liver, I'm going to kill you. Thank you, Joe DeVita, for that intro song. Hey, everybody. I'm Brad. This is the Snowplow Show. Today is August 5th, 2021, and this show is brought to you by Inspector Ratchet, Mr. John, Probix, FOD87, and I, Rasputin, the Tasteful. They all support the show on the Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. I need to talk to you all about Beverly Bot. I've been obsessed with that for days now. Before we get started with that, though, I want to mention that I set up a daisy tribute radio station on worldofprankcalls.com if you go over there to the website worldofprankcalls.com there are now four radio stations over there in the sidebar there's mine carlito's blue planet prank radio and the world of prank calls radio station which i set up last year i think and never really did anything with but i'm finally doing something with it it is now a daisy tribute station i found out that i have 18 days worth of daisy material after getting the stuff off of archive.org and all of the pranks that Dr. Tom Servo sent me, I ended up with 18 straight days of Daisy material. So if you would like to go listen to Daisy shows constantly for the next, I don't know, month, maybe after that I'll switch it back to a normal radio station about prank calls. But for now, it is a Daisy station. Here, let me go there and we'll see what Daisy's up to right now. No, I'm an artist. 
Uh, what do you do? Do you rap? Uh, I do that. Also do I produce music? Yeah. Nice. He produces music, everybody. Daisy's talking to a music producer. So go check that out, worldofprankcalls.com. Now let's talk about Beverly. Beverly is the lady that you heard in the opening prank today, right before the intro. I told her that her mobile home looked dumb, and she's making the mobile home park look like a trailer park. And she just yelled a bunch of really quotable things at me. Like, I'm gonna trace this call, motherfucker, and stuff like that. And then, like a month later, I think three weeks later, on a hobo sode, I called her back again. And that prank call was eight minutes long and had even more amazing quotes in it. Beverly is a seriously disturbed person. In fact, here, let me go to the YouTube real quick. I'm just gonna go to a random spot in the video, like 10 minutes, so we can see what Beverly has to say. Turns he out- would not understand you, nobody does. God is looking at you now and going, where the hell did I fuck up? No, God doesn't fuck up, he's perfect. You are, oak. Oh, hey honey, when you, he allowed you to be born, he fucked up. No, 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 God's perfect. You, he's, you know what? It's a Beverly is such a mean person, telling me God's disappointed in me and stuff. If you haven't heard that second call to Beverly, you should go over to YouTube and watch that. I'll put a link in the show notes to that second call to Beverly. The reason that I was looking for those Beverly calls, I sort of remembered her, but I didn't remember just how completely insane she was until I re-listened to those calls. But the reason I was getting those calls is because I wanted to set up my own Linnybot on my phone system so people could call in and talk to this crazy lady that screamed at me a bunch. I didn't realize how much stuff I was going to get out of that. I ended up with 37 clips of her saying insane things to me. So I made the robot. There is a phone number. You can call now and you can talk to fake Beverly. It's not the real Beverly. It's just a robot Beverly. So you don't need to warn her like people have been doing ever since I set this up. I've been listening to people call into Beverly for days now. There's a thing I can type into the phones in my house and I can just listen to everything happening on every line, which this week has been pretty much nothing but Beverly calls. And there has been some good stuff. I mean, it's mostly just you guys calling up Beverly and having a chat with her, just saying hello. But there's other people calling her too. I'm gonna play a few of those calls right now. And some of them are long. So like I said, if you don't care about Beverly, If you don't want to hear all this stuff, you should skip ahead to wherever the pranks are. There are two phone numbers you can call right now to talk to Beverly. And here, let me call up one of the numbers and we'll have a quick chat with Beverly. I've already done this on the hobo sode, so this is kind of dumb doing this again. Hello? Beverly, what are you doing? Yes. I said, what are you doing? This, This chat bot isn't working very well. Hi, how are you? I am pretty good. Why don't you say something mean to me? Who the fuck is this? Oh, you know who the fuck it is, Beverly. You know exactly who it is. What is your problem? Do you have nothing better to do? So, as you can see, Beverly, uh, when you call her up, she'll just sit there and let you talk as long as you want, and she won't start talking until you shut up. It listens for silence, and as soon as it hears enough silence, it plays another Beverly clip, like this. Well, what the fuck do you think this is? And it's all 37 clips that I was able to take out of the two calls to her. And it works really well for fooling people when you get them to call it. It's kind of like the Linny bot. You know, I'm going to trace this phone call, motherfucker. In fact, it is the Linny bot, basically. I just took the Linny sound files and turned them into Carol sound files. Lenny's been around. I've got a tracer on my phone. I'm tracing this phone call. Don't, don't and in- you know what? I'm going to report you. Don't interrupt me, Beverly. So that's what Beverly is if you call these numbers. Uh, the phone numbers to call are, write this down, 270-558-1710. If you call that one, you're going to hear a ring and a half, and then Beverly will pick up. And if you want to transfer her to a telemarketer and not have the ring on there, then you should call this other number, which is 828 828- Five four nine seven zero six nine. Call either of those numbers, and you can talk to Beverly, and then you can get your friends to call her, and they can talk to Beverly. So anyway, last night I downloaded all of the files from the Beverly folder, like all of the phone calls that had happened over the past few days. 
there was over 700 phone calls in there. And I was able to delete a couple hundred of them just by deleting everything that was 10 seconds or 15 seconds or shorter. And then I just started skimming through them. There's still over 500 to listen to, but there's some pretty good stuff in here like this one, which I labeled Psycho. Let's listen to this one. Hello? <laughs> yes. Hello? Who is this? See, she didn't even say hello properly, but it still worked out. Hi, how are you? Who is this? Well, what the fuck do you think this is? Who is this? What the fuck are you talking about? I live in a double-wide mobile home. Are you fucking kidding me? Who in the fuck is calling my phone talking crazy <laughs> like this? This girl is awesome. Who the awesome. fuck is this? You called my phone. You try your fucking shit with me anymore, buddy. I'll see you in jail for harassment. What are you talking about? I like how she calls the girl buddy. Psycho. Psychopath. <laughs> fucking psychopath. What the fuck? I'm going to see you in jail. I'm a widow, and I know how to play that to the full extent. And I guess that's where this girl hung up. But then she called back so she could have some more words with Beverly. And I don't think I'm going to play this whole thing. Or maybe I will. It's No, no, I am going to play this whole thing. Fuck it, right? I can do whatever I want. This is Hello. my show. Hello. So this is her calling back and not realizing that Beverly is saying the exact same thing yes. to her. Who is this? Hi, how are you? Who is this? Well, what the fuck do you think this is? Listen, lady, I don't know what the fuck your bar had ass got going on with you tonight, but you're calling my phone, no caller ID, private or whatever, and cussing and telling me something about living under a bridge and all this shit. I don't know what, what? you got going on, but lose my number. If you don't want to call and properly say my name is whoever the fuck and I'm looking for whoever the fuck, lose my number, okay? I don't give a damn if you're 10 or fucking 70. Have respect. What did that mean? What the fuck are you talking about? I live exactly. in a double wide mobile home. Thank you, Beverly. What the fuck are you live in a fucking spaceship? What I'm saying to you, lady, is you're going to call my phone. You're going to be proper and respectful and say, my name is whoever, and I'm looking for whoever. So somebody, a listener out there, got this girl to call Beverly's number, and they didn't get to hear all this. Unless they're a listener of this show, they'll never hear this. I need to figure out a way to just make all of these calls display on a website. I think that might be a little beyond what I'm capable of call my phone and say, figuring I'm out. I'm a bar hag and I live in a double wide. And what the fuck? Who are you? Literally. Hello? Who the fuck is this? You called my phone. You called my telephone. There's a lot of that. A lot of people saying, you called me. That I pay for. You try your fucking shit with me anymore, buddy. I'll see you in jail for harassment. Is this a joke? This has to be a joke. I'm going to see you in jail. I'm a widow, and I know how to play that to the full extent. Where do you want me to meet you? You need a what? You what? Come to the house. I think she's realizing right now that it is a recording. Let me show you what my concealed carry looks like. You know, I'm going to trace this phone call, motherfucker. I think this is where it ends. It, motherfucker, because I'm oh. going to trace it too, Riley. I'm going to trace it there too. There she is. Back out of my house. Back out. Back out. What? What is that? I've got a tracer on my phone. I'm tracing this phone call. And you know I'm what? Recording I'm going to report now. you. I'm recording it. I'm recording it. So suck a big dick, bitch. How about that? Wow. Come on over, honey. This is a recording. Yeah, this see. This is a joke. This is she a said right there, this is a recording. She knows joke. now. You are a piece what? of fucking shit. And if you call my phone again, you I'll make sure you don't ever psycho. get another phone anywhere, honey. You're a psycho. My why, nephew why, is why is she still arguing? She just said it, it's a recording. A sheriff. I'm reporting you to him. I'm a sheriff. I'm a fucking sheriff, bitch. Right. You want to fucking play games, buddy? Play games. And that's where that one ends. So, like I said, I have hundreds of these recordings. Over 400 right now. 
And I haven't listened to them, of course, because that's a lot of recordings. But I did skim through them, and I found a few good things in here. And we're going to listen to just a few more of them. Like, uh, here's a husband and wife. That's what I have this Hello? one labeled as. Hello? Yes. So basically, you're just going to hear the exact same prank call over and over and over today. Doesn't that sound like fun? Hello? Hi, how are you? Good. Who is this? Who the fuck is this? Who the fuck is this? What is your problem? Do you have nothing better to do? So I think I remember that maybe the wife had set up the husband on this one. That's why we hear her giggling in the background. You called me. Well, what the fuck this? do you think this is? I don't know. Who the fuck are you? You call to be cursing? You know, I'm going to trace this phone call, motherfucker. Okay, trace it. Who the hell is this? Is this real? I've got a tracer on my phone. I'm tracing this phone call. And you know what? I'm going to report you. Okay, report me. You want to talk to my wife? Maybe she... Here, you talk to her. You are a piece of fucking shit. And if you call my phone again, I'll make sure you don't ever get another phone anywhere, honey. I said which phone did she get a call from? Did I call you? Or what are you talking about? Oh, okay. Maybe Hello? they're both confused. Maybe the wife doesn't know anything. I don't know. I've already talked to everybody. They don't know who the fuck you are. Who's everybody? What are you talking about? I think you're fucking mentally ill. You're the one who called me. I've never talked to you in my life. You can't even hardly probably walk or blow your nose. All right, I'm bored with this one. All right, here, let me skim ahead a little bit. It's four minutes long. You is a sheriff. I'm reporting you to him. <laughs> yeah, they, they know it's a joke. They're just laughing at this point. So maybe the wife didn't set it up. I thought I remembered it that way. There's other ones like that. Like there's a uh, a son that got his dad to call into it. Uh, there's this telemarketer Hello? guy. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello, sir. Oh, yeah. Or it's Mr. Lawrence, ma'am. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm doing good, ma'am. And how about you? Hello. Who the fuck is this? This is Santos, ma'am, and I am talking to Miss Lawrence um a minute ago. And he told me that I will call, I uh, got call hi him back. So this guy, Lawrence... I guess he just, uh, you know, he got a telemarketing call, so he just transferred it over to Beverly. After a second. So, may I speak to Mr. Lawrence? What is your problem? Do you have nothing better to do? But, Mom, we already talked about this. Well, what the it's fuck do you that, think this is? Uh, oh, pardon, Mom? You know, I'm going to trace this phone call, motherfucker. Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry to hear that, but we already talked about this, and, and Mr. Lawrence so, told me so that. So Mr. Lawrence is probably sitting on the line right now with his phone on mute, just laughing at this guy for just talking to a robot. After a, after a second. So that's why I'm calling him right now. I've got a tracer on my phone. I'm tracing this phone call. And you know what? I'm going to report you. Okay, ma'am, so go ahead. <laughs> it just goes on like that for a while. There's a couple more minutes left. Let's see. What else have we got here? Oh, yeah, we got the cops. The cops called me. This is a great one. Hello. Uh, good afternoon, Mrs. Beverly. How are you today? Yes. Yeah, I was giving you a call. I'm um, working with the, the police department investigations um, office. Um, Wait, working with the police department so he's not a cop? Maybe this is a fake cop. Maybe it's not a real cop. It looks like you've been having uh, quite a few uh, prank calls. Is, is that what's been going on? Or Hi, how are you? Uh, I'm doing fine. How are you doing, ma'am? Who the fuck is this? 
This is Officer Williams with the Investigations Office, the local de police department. All right, what do you guys think? Is this a real police officer or is this a fake police officer? I'm a little undecided on this one. What is your problem? Do you have nothing better to do? Are you listening? Ma'am, uh, this is Officer Williams. Well, what is, the is, fuck this, do you this, think this is? Hello? You know, I'm going to trace this phone call, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. So apparently the cop just realized that Beverly is fake. And he's amused. I got a tracer on my phone. I'm tracing this phone call. And you know what? I'm going to report you. And I, you guess, are I guess that's where he hangs up. Might have been a fake cop. I'm not really sure. And then there's uh, this kid who talked to Beverly for over six minutes. And I'm not going to play the entire thing. I just think it's amusing because he sounds like he's 10 or something. And he's just chatting with this lady who's screaming obscenities at him. And he's a listener, by the way. This isn't somebody who's fooled. My nephew is a sheriff. I'm reporting you to him. Well, if you report me to him, aren't you going to get arrested for murder? <laughs> you want to fucking See, play this games? This kid knows what's going on. Play games. This lady. Well, I'm just saying, if you kill me, then you're going to get arrested for murder right away. That's true, but yeah. Take that, Beverly. So that was great. Uh, what else is there in here? I know there's at least a couple more. Hopefully you guys aren't hating this, because I'm not. I'm really enjoying this stuff. I love Beverly a lot. I wish I could call her up again, but I don't have her phone number. Uh, here's one, which I thought was super amusing, but it's 13 minutes long, and I almost want to play the entire thing. I haven't listened to it all yet. I'm probably going to play half of it at least, maybe. Hello? Hey, can I ask you something real quick? Just just give me, like, maybe 90 seconds. Uh, so this is a listener of at least the YouTube, and he thought, like a lot of people thought, that I gave out the real Beverly's phone number. So he thought I was just like, ah, ha, I pranked this old lady. Here's her phone number, everybody. Why don't you all prank her too? So this guy is very concerned about Beverly and wants to just kind of let her know what's going yeah, on. But have you... Have has a lot of people been calling you uh, regarding, like, a lot of bullshit and unimportant stuff? <laughs> bullshit. Yes. You got a prank call. Yeah. Do you have any, do you, do you know where that, any of that's, uh, first of all, the prank call, was that, when was that, like, three, two, three days ago, right? Hi, how are you? I said in the description the prank call was in 2018. I'm good. I'm good. I, you, um, uh, I was just wondering, um, who the you, fuck is this? Look, 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 I'm a, so let me, let me tell you something. Your name is, um, <laughs> Beverly, you remind me of my, I'm, I'm a 30 year old man. This is so great. Uh, just got in my thirties. Uh, you remind me a lot of my grandma, which is a good thing. And, uh, I, what is your problem? Do you have nothing better? I think this is how Beverly would really respond if this guy really called her. Do no, no. I just, I just want to tell you what's going on. I, I, I I'm an outsider. Uh, I have nothing to do with what's going on, but I know what's going on. And if you would like to know, I know the guy who's harassing you. His name's Brad Carter. I would like to tell you because I just. Like I said, you remind me of my grandmother, and this is it, it, it's really very funny. But uh, I, I, I'm not trying to piss you off, but I'm, but yeah, if if you want to know what's going on, I'll, I'll tell you. But other than that, I'll, I'll let you go, and I'll never call you again. But you, you really what a after nice hearing guy. your uh, voice, you or hearing everything you were saying as far as like a still carry, like you remind me so much of my grandmother. But at the same time. You remind me so much of my grandmother because I know you don't know what's going on. So he remembers the calls to her enough to remember the concealed carry and all the weird shit she said, but he's not realizing yet that she's just a bot. If that if, if that makes sense, I guess. So he's that not. is wrong with me, uh, Beverly. I just unless I just, he's really good at role playing. I love your personality, uh, 
And uh, that that's all I'll say. I'll, I'll let you. I, I I'll give you. Uh, I mean, well, if you got any questions, you think just let is? me. So, so uh, okay. So, what do I think this is? You know, I'm going to trace this you, phone call, motherfucker. I I I know you you tracing phone calls. You go trace it to your nephew, who's a sheriff, right? <laughs> See? He remembers now, that. Now, so I say that to say, you don't have to be hostile with me. Like, you can be angry, and 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 because of your anger, you don't have to. You, you won't know what's going on. But like I said, you remind me so much. You're so funny. Look, I'm your friend. I'm your friend. All right. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not asking. I'm not asking nothing from That's you. That's something an enemy would say. Uh, like credit card information. I'm not here to skim you. Uh, I got a tracer on my phone. I'm tracing this phone call. I, I, and know, you know, I know. What? I know. You, I'm going to report I know. you. Yeah, I know. You, yeah, you're going to report me to your nephew, who's a sheriff. Yeah. I understand that. Just add, Just just be. Come to the real world. Ask me how I know everything. Ask me how I know everything you're saying. You are a piece of fucking shit. And if you call my phone again, I'm, I'll make I, sure I, you I, don't I, ever I, get I, another phone anywhere, honey. I know you. I know. I know. Uh, I, I will tell you, I won't call you back ever again. And it's not because I'm scared of anything. I know everything you're already going to say. You know, your nephew's a sheriff. I know your nephew. Um, and he still doesn't realize. Well, you know what? Actually, you know what? I gotta change your heart. Uh, I apologize for calling you. I, I've already uh, talked to everybody. They don't know who the fuck you are. No, yeah. Uh, I'm your friend. I'm not with the. I'm not with the. Uh, I'm not with the Brad phone. Carter crew. I'm not with them right now at all. I'm your friend. I think you're uh, fucking mentally ill. Yes. Okay. I apologize. So, uh, but Beverly, um, you Beverly, can't wish, even wish, hardly probably walk or blow your nose. Damn, you like a recorder. You say the same stuff all the time, don't you? See? <laughs> Here we go. Uh, you know something? In the last four years, my house was considered one of the prettiest with a sign in the front in this area. Oh shit! No shit! This is this the recording for real? <laughs> <laughs> for real? You said when? Can you believe that? What the fuck are you talking? I about? thought he was just playing around, kind of. But you actually get to hear the moment when he realizes that Beverly is not real. Uh, I live in a double wide mobile home. <laughs> you try your fucking shit with me anymore, buddy. I'll see you in jail for harassment. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. Um, I'm hey, gonna see phone. you in jail. I'm a widow, and I know how to play that to the full extent. Yep. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know who this is, but first of all, <laughs> the phone, uh... The Come phone, to the house. That, 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 Let me show you what my yeah, concealed right. carry looks like. He, he, it's like he knows somebody's listening. Hey, I don't know who this is, but I'm gonna say that channel is the most underrated, funniest motherfucking channel in the motherfucking world in the past. They've been out probably 15 years, but... Thank you. I know the. the Come the on over, honey. honey. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'll say that because I don't know if uh, this is definitely a recording, but I don't know that that channel is doing this recording. But I would say first of all, that channel is number motherfucking one, and I don't know why Aww. it ain't, but it really, really it fucking should be. is. And By it, the way, everybody, we hit 40,000 subscribers on the main PLA YouTube channel this week. That's pretty exciting. Dude, this shit, this shit is it's so not a million, but we're getting there, kind of. Funny. Because <laughs> I really thought... <laughs> I just got done listening to that prank call. I just got done listening to that video. It's amazing. And it literally said something about this number was a recording. But for whatever reason, that didn't register in my mind. So I'm thinking <laughs> you're for real, real late. 
lady. Actually. Okay. All right. I'm just going to turn this off. Somehow he talks for another six minutes and that might be all I'm going to play. Let's see. What else? Oh, here's one labeled tattling. I remember this one. Hi, ma'am. Is this Beverly? Yes. Yes. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm awesome. Um, craziest thing. They have you on YouTube. <laughs> I called the number and ended up being you. I'm not here to be mean or anything. So, so I, I wonder how many of these there are of just people thinking that I gave out this old lady's phone what number. What the fuck is this? Or is he just playing around? And I've got one here labeled, You Called Me. Hello. This might be the last one. Don't worry, you guys. We're almost done with these. What is your problem? Do you have nothing better to do? What is your problem? You keep calling us. Well, what the fuck do you think this is? So whoever is harassing people using Beverly's number, you cut that out. Just fucking call? Who the fuck is this? What the fuck do you think this is? You know, I'm going to trace this phone call, motherfucker. Trace whatever the fuck you want because you called me. I got a tracer on my phone. I'm tracing this phone call. And you know what? Yes. I'm going to report you. You're the one calling me. Uh, I don't know. I've got more, but I don't know. I got to figure out what to do with all this audio. Maybe I'll just make some compilation videos on YouTube or something of people talking to Beverly. It's been fun, though, doing all this Beverly stuff. So I'm going to stop talking about Beverly, but be sure to go uh, check out her phone numbers and stuff. The 270-558-1710 or 828-549-7069. Call either one of those numbers and you can talk to Beverly. You can get yelled at and insulted by the amazing Beverly. I suggest everyone give that a try. Holy shit, this has been a long intro. Let's do some calls. This is the Hip Hop Underground Legend self-titled. I once got hit in the head with a beer bottle by Cage. This is the Rubik's Cube and the Landmine Lieutenant. Frosty the Snow Thug, Demigods. You're tuning to the Snow Plow Show. Phone Losers of America, Roy Bell, the Rodent Holder. Sensei Doug, Karate Chop and Karate Artery. Blast off like Pendleton, Brad Carter. The prank call call center, Serial Killer. Vinny Paz, AOTP, Esoterodacto. You a fool for this beat, I sell. Hello. Hey, Gary. Yes. Hey, I, I saw here on Craigslist you're looking for an unfurnished North County room and garage space. Yes, sir, that I am. In San... What am I speaking with, please? Well, I don't have anything available. I'm calling to let you know I don't have anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Why would you do that? I don't get it. Oh, well, I'm just letting you know. I, I wish I had something, but I don't. Uh, I don't even own my Did own I house. I, I don't have anything to rent. Did I contact you? No, no, I just called you, remember? Just now? Yes, yeah, I just called you. Well, I just don't understand the purpose for your call, why you would bother to call me if there was... Well, I don't want you to think that I have anything available. I, I don't have anything. Uh, I, I live well, in a one... why would I... I... Sir, I live in a one-bedroom apartment. I have no idea what in the world you're talking about. Why would I even know of you and worry about what you had or didn't have? Well, I don't have anything. I don't have any garage space. I don't have a room. Jeez, what an asshole. That was an old Craigslist ad sent in by Cactus Craig. He sent these to me last year, but I'm not having much luck getting anything to answer. Hello? Hey, I was calling about your bucking, bouncy clown bike. Um, you had that's it on... long. Yeah, you had it. That's a long gone. Hey! You had it on you had it on Craigslist uh uh last year I think. Yeah, that's long gone. Yeah, I don't want it. I'm calling to tell you I'm not interested in it. I've thought about oh. it. I'm just not interested. I don't want it. That's fine cuz a lot of other people were and it's long gone. Okay, well I, well you don't have to be a dick about it. I'm just letting you know. All right, that's all I can get to pick up on this list. I'm throwing it away. Thank you Cactus Craig. Hello. Oh, hey, it's calling for Kim. Just a minute. All right. Hello. Hi, Kim. Yeah. It's Steve Dave from uh, True Green. Oh, hi. Hey, we accidentally treated your lawn a few days ago. I uh, just want to call and say sorry about that. 
and you know what oh we we treated your lawn uh recently and uh we, we were supposed to do a, a nearby house but you know the address got messed up on the form so we we uh oh. we, we did your entire lawn front and back are you serious yes when uh, I think it was a few days ago. It wasn't me. It was my employees I sent out there. We uh, we we lowered your lawn by two inches. Oh, you oh you 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 mowed it. Oh no, we didn't mow it. No, I'm talking about the dirt underneath the grass. We lowered it by about two inches. I don't understand what you're talking about. Uh, we lowered your lawn. Like if you go out there, ah. you'll notice that your lawn's about two inches lower. To the ground. <laughs> okay. So I'm, I'm just letting you know. I'm sorry about that. We were supposed to do uh, Mrs. Steuben's house. She's uh, down the block a little bit. So you ran over our lawn with something to lower it. Oh no, we uh, we basically took up the lawn and lowered it, lowered the entire thing by two inches, and then put it back down. It, it's hard to explain. I- over the phone, but yeah, it's very, very basic stuff. Our, we have all grass. How can you do that? We just we just lowered the lawn. That's all. It's underneath the grass. We lowered it. Like if you go out there, you'll see the seams where we pulled it all up, and we lowered it by about two inches, and we put it back down and sealed it. The front and the back. Yeah, yeah. It's tricky because you have all those that that stuff out there. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, sorry okay. about that. We were supposed to do Mrs. Duman's house. Okay, what what does that do to the lawn, then? Um, well, nothing. It's just two inches lower than it used to be. <laughs> okay. And you don't, mind, right. you don't mind dandelions, do you? Dandelions? Yes. Yes, I do mind dandelions. Well, they're, they're better for the, you know, just for, for your lawn, for the, for the environment. I don't want dandelions. Oh, I'm sorry. You're going to get those, too. That's why we lowered the lawn, because, you know, dandelions tend to grow a bit taller. But you don't have to mow as much. So, yep. Your lawn is two inches lower. And you've got dandelions. Okay, what happens if we don't want this? Then what? Um, I don't know. I guess you could pull them. They're they're going to be everywhere, though. They're basically going to overtake the grass. No, they're not. Oh, no, they definitely will. We put a lot of uh, dandelion fertilizer and everything into the lawn. as We did it from, from underneath while we had the lawn up, while we were lowering it. All right. I'm going to let you talk to my husband because I don't like this at all. Okay. Is he going to be upset about the geocache that Chad left in the birdhouse? The geocache that Chad left in the birdhouse. Well, you have a lot of birdhouses out there. Yeah. Uh, we uh, Chad put a geocache in the one up there that's on a, like on top of a tree stump or, or something. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's just so a, are we to... It's just a geo. We're not paying you for it. Oh no! It's just a geocache. It's just like a little hidden treasure thing. It's it's inside the birdhouse, inside the green one. Okay, I'm going to let you talk to my husband about this because we don't have any dandelions now, and we don't want any. Oh, they'll probably start coming up when it starts raining. Uh, d- like, are you familiar with geocaching? No. Oh, it, it's like a game that people play. There's going to be people showing up in your yard to retrieve it. Retrieve what? The geocache that Chad put in the birdhouse? I don't know what this guy eats. He yeah. lowered it along two inches. Uh, well, we're getting a lot of dandelions now. Okay. Uh, who, who, I don't know who this is. I don't know. Who, who is this? Oh, this is, <clears throat> this is Roy from True Green. Yeah, we, we just, we're supposed to do Martha Stewman's house. She lives uh, you know, just a few blocks down. We transposed some digits. So we did your house instead. Well, I don't know. We didn't see anybody. I don't know what you're even talking about. Oh yeah, they were out there a few days ago. Uh, they lowered the lawn by two inches, and we uh, resurfaced the whole thing with dandelions seeds. So they're not going to come up until it starts raining. 
So, so what is it you're saying? Uh, we just lowered the lawn by two inches, and the uh, the geocache that that's uh, you know that's not a big deal. That's just something that Chad likes to do. But I, I don't even know what what it is it you're trying to say. Oh, uh, it's a geocache. There's probably going to be people showing up in your yard to retrieve the geocache. It's a game that people play, and and Chad's a member of the service, and he you know he put a geocache up in that birdhouse up you know way up on top of that pole, that tree pole. The stump. Wow. I think people should get permission to come on our property. Plus, we have dogs that could attack real easily. Yeah, well, we, we thought it was Martha Steumann's house. Or, I mean, the, the my employees did. Okay. So now, you lower our lawn okay. two inches, and we're going to have millions of dandelions. The, the dandelions are good for the earth, though. You're, you're forgetting that part? I don't care what wait, they're wait, good for. We don't want can, them. Can you say that they killed the dandelions? No. He planted a whole millions of them. Yeah, they're, sir, they're going to overtake the lawn. But but that's a good thing. You you won't have to mow as much. You're welcome. No, no, that's not a good thing. No, and we did not ask that. Someone's got to make this right. That's, I don't even know who you are, but this is goofy. You can't come on someone's property. I don't care if it's a mistake or not. Okay, but in that and screw their house up. Well, we, you got to make this right. We didn't screw anything up. We, we're I'm, I'm making it right by making a phone call. I'm letting you know. Okay, but how how is that making that right? Uh, well, I, I'm just letting you know. Uh, you know, we we're not charging you. We're not charging you anything. It's just an accident. Well, how, how how could you charge me for putting dandelions in my yard? Well, that that some people like that because it's better for the earth and you can eat dandelions. Did you know that there's like seven different parts of the dandelions that are edible? It's irrelevant. It's still not something we ask for or want. And you're going to come crazy and get them away from us. I'm sorry, what's that? I'm sorry, what's you're that, ma'am? You're going to come spray later on when they come up. Sir. Sir. Sir, hello? Yes, go ahead. What? Oh, okay. Can you tell that lady in the background that the name dandelion is taken from the French word dent de lion, meaning the, meaning the lion's no, tooth? I don't care. You don't understand. I don't care. We don't want dandelions, and you're going to come spray. And get rid of them when but, they come up. But that refers to the uh, the coarsely tooth leaves. Listen, I don't care. We will take you to court. What? Because of the geocache? We don't want. No, I don't care about the geocache. Okay, because there's there's going to be I people on your in your lawn climbing up that tree, that tree pole. Nobody's going to come on our property. Well, don't don't get you know don't don't get all upset if anyone shows up. It's it's just a game. They're just playing a game. I don't care. Dogs. Don't you understand? And we leave them out. No one gave you permission to come on our property. Well, no, we thought it was Mrs. Steuben's house. I'm, I don't care, I don't don't care what you thought. thought. I mean, my I and the data light is another issue. I mean, you don't have the right to do any of that. I don't care who you thought it was. Well, it wasn't me. You know, I I, I just managed the the whole business. It's my well, then we're going to talk to the top manager my, because we don't want it. Look, my, my employees are idiots. It's not my fault. I don't care what it is. They, they trans. I can't deal with them. <laughs> okay, you employ them. You're still responsible. This is not right. Okay. No one's coming well, on our property. I'm going to tell them not to do this again. So it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. No, how how do you figure it's fine? You put dandelions in our yard. That's not fine. Yeah. Well, the main thing is we lowered the entire lawn by two inches. First of all, I don't know if you did because we just cut our grass two days ago. And second of all, no one answered you to do any of that. Okay, well, no, we didn't cut the grass. We lowered the lawn. It's like the dirt underneath the lawn. We lower it from underneath. We don't want the I, You know what? I think I'm going to have to call the police. I don't understand what you're even saying. Well, this is not right. It sounds like you don't understand basic yard maintenance. I don't understand what you're doing, but I do think the police will be getting involved. For, for what you reason? Just because uh, of the geo geocache? I, I don't I have no idea what you're talking about, but you have no business being on our property. I don't care if it's a mistake or not. I don't know who you are. At this point, I'm going to have the police get involved. Sir, have listen. Sir, can I just, just tell you one thing? I was going to tell him about the butt slam. Hello? Hi, Jane. Who's calling? It, it's Roy from True Green. Yes? Can I help you? Uh, I just want to make sure your pool is covered out in the backyard. We're getting ready to airdrop some dandelion seeds. And those make a mess of the, those make a mess of the pool. 
What are you talking about? Who is this? Uh, this is this is Roy from True Green. <laughs> okay, what can I do for you? Oh, we're we're, we're air dropping dandelion seeds onto your uh, property there on Drive. Uh, the, yeah, we the, don't have a pool anymore. Oh, okay, that's good then. Okay, the the drones are going to be there in about twenty minutes. They're just going to airdrop a bunch of dandelion seeds, and they'll be on their way. <laughs> Why are you laughing, ma'am? Dandelion seeds? I want dandelions in my backyard. Oh, Brett, back and front is what you ordered, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I guess I did. I don't know. Well, you're acting like nobody ever orders this. Dandelion seeds? Yeah. No, they don't. No, no, they do. Like, that's a very popular thing these days. It's a, wow. a big hit, hit with the hippies, you know, because they're better for the yeah. earth and you can eat them and all that stuff. So, yeah, yeah the drones are on the way. Why'd you get rid of your pool? Who is this? Uh, th this is Roy. I already told you that. I'm with True Green. I've got to go, Roy. Thanks for okay. the call. Hey. Give me a good laugh. All right, you're it was welcome. a good laugh. Hey, I've been pranking. Uh, hey, hey, ma'am, I've been prank calling people all over your neighborhood, and most of them get really mad at me when I tell them about these dandelions. So, good job on having a good <laughs> sense of humor. It was a funny call. Thank Aww, you. Thank you so much. I love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's another of Nick's numbers from next door. She posted that she found a phone. Oh, shit. I didn't even see that before I called her. I could have brought that up. It's Carmen. Hey, Carmen. It's uh, Steve Day from the Homeowners Association. Oh, hi. Hi. Hey, we, uh, we sent True Green over there. They're going to be there today to uh, just treat your lawn. Homeowners Association? Yes. So My Homeowners Association is paying for True Green? Yeah, just because your lawn looks so shitty. So they're, they're just going to... What? <laughs> I pay for someone to do my lawn. Oh, my I... lawn looks shitty. Who is this? No, you're not paying enough, apparently, because it looks really bad. So uh, do you know what kind oh of chemicals God. they're putting on there? Because I can make sure True, True Green does the right stuff. Is this a prank call? Oh, no. No, I wouldn't prank call, man. Okay, well, what was your name? Roy. Roy, and yep. you're in the Homeowners Association. Correct. From yes. Okay, Roy, if you think that my lawn looks like shit, and you want True Green to come over, then why don't you guys send me an official letter? Oh, no, they're coming over. They're just going to show up today. So settle, what? settle down with your official letter talk, okay? <laughs> this is insane. Okay, well... I've already had the lawn treated, so I don't want them here. Okay. Well, no, they're because coming. It'll burn it. It they're, was they're just coming. treated. Ma'am, your yard looks shitty. We've got to fix it. I don't it. give a damn. Well, I know. My that's, yard doesn't look bad. That's and I the problem. Would get notified by my neighbors. And you know what? You're going to make everyone's homeowner neighbors. fees go up by doing this because no, we have to I'm pay not. for everyone else's no, home. I'm not. True green you're, treatments. <laughs> you're not very good at this. I'm not. <laughs> Why do no. you say that? <laughs> because. Because I've been in this community for a long time, and I know these people. Okay. Well, they would knock on my door. Or they you'll would, see they would say, when, hey, the, Carmen, when all the true green trucks show up. Also, ma'am, we're going to have to dig a large hole in your front yard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about why. <laughs> Seriously. Who is calling me? <laughs> when true green shows up there, true green, quote, unquote, <laughs> Uh, I have quite a sense of humor. I would really like to know what this is. <laughs> they're going to dig the hole. Did I win a million dollars? No. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Well, right. Listen, okay. ma'am. True Green doesn't dig holes. Oh, no, no. Our True Green does. We've, no, they're lazy. No, they're well, they're too lazy you know, for that. We've, we've got our own special people. The first time. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, hang up the goddamn phone right now. Okay, yep, all right. All right, love mm -hmm. you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Tell me I'm not very good at prank calls. Whatever. Hello? Hi, Sophia? Yes. Hey, it's it's Roy. Um, I'm one of your neighbors. Hi, Roy. Hi. I, I was kayaking. I saw your house the other day from the river. Oh, hi. What can I do for you? Uh, I was just wondering, like, do, have you ever thought about getting anyone to pick up your yard? It looks really shitty back there. 
Um, are, are you talking about the murder home? Oh, well, no, it's it's yours. It's uh, on uh, one road. I don't live there anymore. Oh. I live in We sold that residence. Well, did you leave it all shitty like that? Or is it just the new people? Of course not. Our house was immaculate, so they've been there for three months, and I can't speak to what they do. Well, I don't know. I th- I think probably it's just left over from you, because this looks like years worth of, uh, you know, just uh, shitty yard. No. Nope. Nope, sorry. Ma'am, you sorry, should have taken better, better care of your yard. When I go kayaking, I don't want to have to look at that. That was Nick's idea. He wanted me to say I was kayaking on the river, saw her yard look like crap, because her next door post was a trash cleanup thing that she was organizing. And that was nine weeks ago, so I guess they were moving, which is why they needed help with trash cleanup. Smoke Hey there, th- this is uh, Steve Dave from T-Mobile. Yeah. Uh, we're yeah. we're gonna be changing your phone number today. This uh, five no, you're not. seven number. Yeah, you're not changing my number. Oh no, we have to. It's uh, expired. So yeah, it, no, you're not. Well, there's no charge or anything. We just got to change it to the new number. Yeah, so, you're not changing it. No, sir, I have to change. It. I'm changing it right now. So if you have something to write with, no, I got your new no. no, your new number here. No. I'm not change my number. Okay, well, it will. It will sir, it's going to be changing. You're going to have to give out your new number. Why? Because your number's expired. You got one of the cheaper numbers that expire. Why? I don't know why you did that. Maybe you should have paid more money so that it didn't expire. Maybe you should not change it because I use this number for business. Okay, well, this is just how the world works. If you buy the cheap number, it's going to expire after a few years. Well, it's not, it's not, it hadn't even been a year. Sir, you, you apparently know nothing oh, about sir. your term, terms of service and your phone number, so it's changing today. Do you have fucker. something to write with? Or are you just going to sit there no, and be in, be in denial all day? Be in denial about what? Why do you have to change the number? Well, you're, you're acting like your number's not going to change when it's going to change in about 10 minutes. I'm changing it right now. I'm typing in the commands. Well, can I... Can I pay to keep it the same or what? No, no, because you didn't buy the premium number. Why are you getting an attitude? Well, because you're, you're the one with the attitude, acting like I'm not going to change your number when that's why I'm calling you. Do you have something to write with? I have your new number here. Where are you at? I'm going to come up there right now. Uh, no, I'm in the call center. You're in the what? The call center, the telephone company call center. Okay. What do you mean, come up here? Come up here to the call center? What are you, an idiot? Are you, are you, did you just call me? Yeah, you're being a complete idiot, sir. Just get a pencil so I can give you your new number. Will you give me a fucking minute? Jesus Christ. Well, hurry the fuck up, you fucking idiot. Wait, you, you can't be from T-Mobile. No, I am from T-Mobile. You're getting a new number today. So why are you talking to me like that? Let me speak to a manager. No, you you started it, sir. I didn't cuss. Well, it doesn't matter. You you cussed with your attitude. Go fuck yourself, you fucking piece of shit. Oh, now you're cussing. See? Now you're cussing. I can because I'm not on the fucking clock, you fucking idiot. Okay, listen here, you fucking idiot. I'm going to come clean with you. I'm not really with T-Mobile. Yeah. Yeah. I, no I, shit, you I, fucking moron. Listen, no, 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 you're the fucking moron. I just didn't like that you were posting your sign over there on uh, Red Bridge and Holmes. Can you not do that? It makes the area look ugly. Don't fuck yourself. No, you can just don't put your signs up there anymore, okay? Please. All right, well, don't fucking talk to me like that. Oh Well, no, I just, I wanted to prank you. It was a good prank. I got y'all riled up. Uh, well, it was. Was it funny? Yeah, it was funny to me. It was really funny. I recorded it. I'm going to show my brother. <laughs> we're going right, to well, laugh and laugh about how upset you got over the whole number change thing. What's your name? Roy. Hi, Roy. But that's just my prank call name, you know, because I was saying I'm Roy from the T-Mobile or whatever. How many people actually fall for that? Uh, most of them, including you. Yeah, well, you got me. I got gotcha. you. All right. All right. All right, Roy. Well, you can take that sign down. Yeah, I didn't even put it there. I just hired some dude to go and put him around the area. Oh, so. that doesn't make it any better. 
Well, you're, you're shitting up the area. You're shitting up the area with all your signs. I'm shitting up the area? Yeah, you are. Stop shitting up the area. All right, Roy, or whatever your name is. It's Brad. All right, Brad. Well, right. all right, Brad, well, you have a wonderful day. Oh, you too. I, I love you. I love you. I love hey, you. I was just getting ready to say I love you. We're like twins. Well, I love you back. God uh, bless. Bless it be the fruit. Yep. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the fucking Lord. Do you want to do a prayer with me right now? Uh, Yeah, well, you, you do it. I'm not good at prayer because I'm a... I'm not either. I was kind of hoping you'd leave. Well, I'm a heathen, so. Well, aren't we all? Well, maybe don't all offer right. prayer if you're not going to do it. Okay, bye. I love you. All right. Love you. Bye. <laughs> he was nice. That was uh, another of the sign guy's numbers. And that guy runs a junk removal business where he pays people to go around putting signs up for him. Hello? Hi, this is uh, Ted from T-Mobile. Oh, right on. What's going on? Uh, I was calling to let you know we're getting ready to change your phone number. Uh, this, Why? This O four. We're just going to be changing it to a new number. Why is that? Uh, well, it's just, just time to. Ch- it's expired. I'm so sorry. Your, your number. I can't have that expire. That's my number. I use it for business. Well, no, you bought the expiry number. You, you got to pay for the premium number. Dude, oh my god, what's the what's that cost? Well, no, I'm not offering it to you. We get, we just have to change your number. If you want to uh, that's order, not, that's not okay. I don't, I don't give my consent. Like, I cannot have that happen. Well, you, you don't. If you also want to pay for. All, it's not dude. about consent. It's, it's you know, you just, you just bought the cheap number, the one, the one that expires. I, I bought the number that I've had for the past two years, and I can't have that be lost at the moment. Okay, well, uh, maybe you shouldn't have bought the expiring one then. Okay, well, who Idiot. do you work for? Like, let me talk to them. Like, oh. the number is not going anywhere. I need that number. Oh no, it's, it's definitely got to change today. Why so is that? I'm, like, I'm, why? Well, it doesn't cost you anything. You're acting like it costs you something. Uh, we just gotta I don't give... care about the cost. I care about my number. That's gotta I give you your... a lot of signs. It's used for my business. I cannot sir, have that number change. Sir, you're going to have a, a number in India now. It's uh, The country code's going to be 9-1. No, I cannot. No, 9-1. No, no. What, That's no, not it's, happen. I sir, it's, happen. it's the same thing. What are you, racist against Do Indians? Do you work it's, for them? Of course. Do you, are you even a T-Mobile employee? Yes, I'm, I'm in the call center. In Oregon. The call, well, I expect them to be more respectful. Well, no, you, you started being disrespectful to me, so I, I was just throwing it back at you. Well, throwing it. Anyway, do you have something to write with? I've got to get you your uh, new phone number here. I do not. Okay, uh, get a pen or a pencil. Why is my why does it have to be an Indian number? I but don't live in India. Okay, well, no, there's no reason to be racist like that, sir. You know, Indians are people. Oh, you fuck. Indians <laughs> are people, too. I love Indians. My best friend's Indian. I'm with him right now, but why does it have to be changed? Okay, c- could you Indian? explain to your friend why you don't want an Indian number? I do not want an Indian number because I do not live there, Shaquem, but I'm, do you understand? Huh? Do not worry about it. Is this a scam call? Okay, do it. And why don't you tell that, that guy in the background just to shut the fuck up? That doesn't sound professional. It's not. What's, what's your name again? I used the F word. That was pretty much the opposite of professional. The F word, the worst one that it even says in the Bible. Well, who do you work for? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think it says anything in the Bible about that, does it? You record your calls? Uh, yes, yes. All calls are recorded for... He hung up. Hello? Hey, Bobo, this is Carol from T-Mobile. I'm sorry, uh, who'd you... This is Carol what, what from T-Mobile. Uh, Bobo. This is Carol from T-Mobile. I uh, understand. Why did, you, how'd you get the name Bobo? Uh, it's on your account here. No, it should not be. Well, th- this being a business line and everything, it says Bobo's Services. I th- uh, uh, no, oh, wait a minute. Wait, are you saying it's not a business line? You you paid for the non-premium expiring phone number? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I can't comprehend what you're talking about. Why not? You just aren't making sense. Okay, listen, listen. I okay. For, first of all, just let me get rid of the silly voice. Uh, I, I was just using a using a voice changer. Um, I'm not really with T-Mobile. I just didn't like that color of blue that you used on your sign. It set me off. I went into a rage. I'm so sorry. Can you change? Why, why did you go on that rage? Can you just change it to yellow or green? Uh, what sign are you talking about? Uh, Bobo's services. What's that have to do with my number? 
Well, it's, you you put your sign up out and you know out, out. Who said that was my sign? Oh well, it has your phone number on it. You put it on a hundred and third on a hundred and third and row. So I was just you know it's just the blue, the color blue has set me off. It's like a weird baby blue. I don't know what oh, that no, is. It's almost. You never answered my question though. Can what? You, who do you actually work for then? Uh, I'm just a resident here in Overland Park. That has and, access to voice changing like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's not anything special. It's just a a Roland instrument. That's all. So if I look up this number, what's going to pop up? Uh, my home address probably. I think. So why you got beep with the blue? Uh, I just I didn't like that color of blue. Can can you use maybe like a navy blue, and maybe uh, use white print? I think that'll help it stand out a little. Hello. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Uh, navy blue. You're why, change, why does the light blue change it to navy blue? Who do you actually work for? Uh, I don't work for anybody. I work for myself, motherfucker. What do you do? Well, that's none of your business. Wait, what do you do? Why? Because I want to know. You called me, telling me you're going to change my number. I hey, knew you were fucking lying. What's your? What no, you didn't. Hey, for? can I talk? I could give you so many shitty reviews on Google. Your business will be fucked. I just ask you a simple question. <laughs> you 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 just told me you're gonna give me shitty reviews. I'm not gonna tell you who yes, I work for. Okay, fine. fine. And, and now you'll never know. <laughs> How was that supposed to convince me to give him my business name? Who do you work for? I'm gonna give you shitty reviews. Okay. And why is his name Bobo on the sign? If that freaked him out so much. That was another one from the sign guy. Thanks, the sign guy, for sending that in. Move a copy. Hi, this is Melvin. Yes, how you doing? Uh, pretty good. Uh, this is Steve Day from T-Mobile. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. We're going to be changing your phone number. The so 6 number. We're going to change it to a brand new phone number. What's the number? Uh, are you ready? We got. We, we, I've got the number here. Are you ready to write it down? Oh, yeah. So you're getting a brand, brand new phone number. You say you got me a new number? Yeah, this O. Six isn't gonna work anymore. We changed it. Oh, okay. So how was y'all authorized to change my number like that? Uh, well, I wasn't authorized. I was just kind of in your account. I was, I was in there fiddling around with your account, and I just changed it. Sorry about that. Okay, but, but okay, but there's no charge. I need, I need that. No, I need my number to stay the same because I have a business and everybody got the same number. Okay. Yeah. I had to pay twice and I uh, you, sir, yes. you, you tell her to be quiet. You tell her to you tell her to simmer down. Hey, no, that's my wife. Don't tell me to tell her to be quiet. She well, want to pay my phone bill. Okay, well don't, then don't then then then, then ask her to simmer down. Just tell her to simmer down, honey. No, simmer down. Why are you changing my number? Oh, it, we've just uh, I was monkeying around in your computer and I I just I accidentally changed it. I'm sorry. No, you need to change my number back to what it was. But I don't Why know. Telling me to tell my wife to do something. I don't know how, so I'm just gonna give you the new. Well, you need to fix it, sir. Because I, I can't. So um. Well, I'm gonna go to Boost Mobile, and I need that same number to be the same. Okay. What about Boost? <laughs> sir, can you can you please tell her to just uh just tone it down a notch? Okay. What what's your name? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. I'm with. T-Mobile. You with T-Mobile? Yeah. Steve Dave? Correct, yes. So, yeah, do you have something to write with? I've got your new number here. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, uh, okay. wait a minute. Okay, all right. Okay, and what's your badge number? Whose number? Whatever your confirmation number, whatever your extension number is, whatever the number to link to you. Whatever number, what? Can you... Hey, tell her to just shut the fuck up, sir. Hey, bro. Get off my phone. Well, As she, a matter of fact. She keeps talking. Like, tell, her, tell her to stop That's talking. Me talking. She ain't even said nothing. And if I was, that, all, all she's doing is saying stuff. Tell her to shut up. It don't matter. It don't matter. Well, Who the fuck is you? Yeah, but the, the men are trying to talk here, so just tell her to shut it. It don't matter. You talk, you you talking beside my wife, and you talking outside of my phone. Yeah, you but say what the fuck she want to say. Tell her to zip it. 
No, you need to zip it. Now tell me what the fuck I need to know. What's your badge number? I, I don't have a badge number because I'm not a police right, officer. So what's your confirmation number? So what's your, so, so what's your I don't have a confirmation number because I'm not an airline reservation. Fucking rude ass. Don't fucking tell me to tell my wife to shut up. Well, she was being, wrong with you? She's being so, so damn noisy. No, it don't matter. You better watch your mouth. I, I'd tell her to shut up all the time if she's around me. Yeah, well, well, you that's, that's what you do with your wife, not mine. I don't have a wife. I'm not married for some reason. Well, that's what's wrong with your ass. That's why you ain't got no fucking woman, because you disrespectful. Oh, I didn't say I don't have a woman. I, I have, uh, you know, I have like uh, three, well, she three must, different. Must be a piece of shit. Sir, I have three different women that I were like friends that's with right. benefits. That's why you talking like this. That's why you talking like this because you got three different women and you're a fucking whoremonger. Yeah, but I get now to have sex with. I, need to know. I get to have sex with Mr. three different. Steven, okay, what? your dick probably loaded with your punk ass. My... Now tell me what the fuck I need to know. Okay. Stephen Dave. All right. What I... is your? I his damn name problem. I've got your. I got your number here. Do you have just something to write down with? I don't want no new number. Okay, you're getting a new number, motherfucker. Just write it down. Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. What? Hey, bitch. Let me tell you something. Bitch speaking. Can I help you? Let me tell you. Yeah, I know. Bitch speaking. That's right. So yeah. listen to me. I agreed bitch. with you. Don't play with me, okay? All right. I don't give a fuck as you over the phone. I'll speak something, I'll speak something to your motherfucking life that'll crush your bitch ass. You're going to crush my don't bitch play ass? With me. Sir, I don't want you crushing don't play my with bi me. bitch ass, okay? Don't play with me. I'm not, I'm don't not fucking play with me. I'm not. Pl I'm just trying to give you your new phone and number. Don't and fucking you're... call my phone and be disrespectful for whoever you hear in the background. Well, no, I, you hear me? I wasn't being disrespectful. She was just. She That's wouldn't. The fuck you were. She wouldn't shut up. Now listen, it don't matter. She don't gotta fucking shut the fuck up. She was just back there now screeching. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. Okay. Why are you changing my number? Uh, because uh, I, was, I was just in your account. Uh, I just playing playing around with all the settings, and uh, I changed your number by accident. Sorry about that. So change my shit back to what the fuck it was supposed to be. I don't know how. I'm a new employee. So why the fuck you playing with shit then? I was just in your account, just playing around. Okay. So I'm, get the fuck out my account. I I just wanted. I was just in there. Okay. I I, I won't go in there again. But I mean, I wrote down you your number. Stop playing with people, bro. Okay. Well, I I have your new number here because so, oh. I don't six. want no fucking new number. Old oh, oh, Six doesn't ring anymore. It, it's a disconnected number now. So you've been playing with my shit. Yeah, but it's I, you been, I was just practicing because I'm I'm a new employee. Well, you better stop practicing on people's shit because you gonna get your ass fucked up for doing it. What, what are you saying? You're gonna fight me? I ain't gonna do nothing to your motherfucking ass. You okay. gonna get your ass fucked up for doing what the fuck you did? Well, no, they just fire me. Probably I don't think they'd kick my ass or anything. I bet they did. No, yeah, he's not being a dickhead. Well, no, I don't want to get fired. So, like, d just here, let me give you a new what the number. What's the number, man? What's the number, man? Okay, settle down. It's uh, country code nine one. What? You have to dial nine one for. You have to dial zero one one. Well, I think just zero one on a cell phone to dial internationally. Dude, what's the fucking area code? Yeah. Oh no, you don't have an. Okay, so the country code is nine one. That's where we start. And then you have an area code. Are you ready for that? Sir? Yeah, I'm fucking ready. Okay. The area code is 3798529. What the fuck kind of area code is that? It's in, it's in India. Dude, and then, why the fuck is you on my phone, bro? Well, I changed your number to an Indian phone number, but there's no charge... For it, it's free, okay? Call my phone, Sorry, what? I ain't talking to you. Are you talking to that bitch? Hey, man, watch your motherfucking mouth. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, I think she leaned over and hung up for him. She's like, I don't have to put up this bullshit. That was one more number by the sign guy. That was a moving company. And I think I'm done with calls. Fuck all this shit. Let's do some voicemails. Yo, it's David from New York again. Uh, hey. In the last uh, call, you said that I need to speak up. I was high as hell. I'm sorry. That's okay. You should really bring back... You sound good today. The uh, the Yelp check-ins. Definitely do that. You need yeah. to do that again. Seriously, man. Yeah, I will. All right, so I'll see you later. It's been a while since I've done those. I kind of stopped after the Yelp craze died down. But people are still doing plenty of Yelp, so... Yeah, I should... 
do more of that. Hey, Brad, it's spicy. So I love your What's spicy? Beverly Bots, but I was thinking, you know, a good way to honor Carlito is to create an AI bot with Carlito's voice. Hell yeah. And the reason for that is you can use that as a supervisor line. So when people ask to speak to the fucking supervisor, you can send them right over to Mr. Carlito Cross. That'd be I a lot that of... that would be a great idea. That would be fun. You know, the one thing that I didn't mention about that Beverly line is that there is a secret menu when you first call into it. And so far, the secret menu only has one extra option. Well, there's two, but only one that you can use. If you push two right at the very beginning, you can talk to Lenny instead of Beverly. And if you hit nine, you hear a weird thing that I did for Rachel. I mean, Devin on her show. Uh, last night, she was getting a bunch of people to talk to Beverly on her show. She does a show on Wednesday nights. And I wanted her to use this other bot that I made just for her show. And she tried a few times, but it didn't work out that great. So hopefully next week... If you want to hear the bot, though, you can hit number nine on the secret menu on one of those phone numbers. Anyway, what I'm getting at is on that secret menu, I want to put plenty of more bots. I've already started on a Carol bot. I mean, I've started writing a script for the Carol bot. That'll probably be the next one I do. But yes, I do want to make a Carlito bot. I've already thought about that. I think that's a great idea. We've just got to get the perfect clips for a Carlito bot. So if any of you out there want to help, even if you can just think of a couple of clips that you want to send in, just one or two, That'll help. You know, I can start on the bot and we can just slowly build it up until it's an awesome bot. That's kind of what I did with Beverly. The first bot I set up for her, I only had the clips from the first call. So there was a bunch of extra clips in there where my voice was going over her voice. So you could kind of hear me in the background. That sucked. But once I found that second call, I was able to take all that stuff out because I had so much more to work with. That's what we need for Carlito. We need to find the perfect calls for a Carlito bot. Hey Brad, I was wondering what you thought of scam baiters, and if you have ever thought of doing a scam baiting show. Okay, thanks, bye. I've thought about it, I don't really think I want to, because, I don't know, that's just not my thing. I like scam baiting, I love the Jim Browning channel on YouTube. He's the UK guy that fools the scammers and gets into their computers and actually gets call centers shut down sometimes. He does all this amazing investigative work, he's really fun. And then, of course, I like the Kit Boga. Is that his name? He's hilarious. So I definitely like listening to scam baiting calls. I just don't think I'd want to make them myself. Those are usually pretty long pranks, those scam baiting pranks. And I'm more of a short prank person. I guess that's the main reason I don't want to do scam baiting calls. Hello, Brad. Ah. I'm calling about one of your old shows. I was watching it probably about a month ago. It was over three hours long, I think. Okay. And it was a live show. You don't get those very much anymore, so it was definitely an older show. Mm -hmm. But anyway, in the show, you I'm surprised I can understand you with the shit you're doing to your voice. Well, the actor that played Willy Wonka, and you hacked his voicemail. Or, uh, maybe it was Charlie. Either yeah. way, if you could give Charlie. It wasn't Gene Wilder. ...assistance in finding that, I would come. All right, yeah. Thank Actually, I could hardly understand any of that on the second half. But you're looking for the uh, the prank call that I made to the original Charlie from the original Willy Wonka movie. And I would like to find that as well. I think you should figure out where you saw that at. Like, look at your YouTube history. I mean, there you go. Look at your YouTube history. Unless you just have a ton of PLA videos in your history and you can't find the right one. But you should figure that out for me. Tell me where it is. Because I don't know. I've wanted to find that prank. I was able to hack the answering machine of the original Charlie from the Willy Wonka movie, and I gave him a hilarious Oompa Loompa message, and I have no idea what show that was from. We've talked about that before on this show. Somebody needs to find that for me. I've Roy, looked. it's Butthole Winker 34 in Omaha. Hey, Butthole You know where Winker. I'm at right now? No. I'm at Hobby Lobby, and I just snapped a covert picture of a shopper who looks just like you, as a transvestite. <laughs> wow. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But Are I you trying to say that I'm not a transvestite now? Okay. You know, <laughs> Whatever. You know how I can get this picture You think you know me better than I do. Do you have like a, an email address I can send this to? Yeah. Because this is big. It looks, yeah, it my looks email is flawless. It works every time. I think my email is still being weird. So send it to rbcp at phonelosers.org. I don't even know if my snowplow show email is working right now. So, rbcp at phonelosers.org. That's a good email to send it to. Hey, Brad, it's Chad, the tandem stacker here in New York. Hey. I'm sure you've been hearing the news about Subway and how their tuna fish isn't fish and their bread isn't bread and everything else. 
this is a golden opportunity for a whole new line of prank calls where you could be Subway begging customers to come in and please try our new chemically produced something or other. Or you could be calling to the Subways to check and make sure that they receive the new batch of insert some crazy name of a fish product here. Anyways, yeah. have fun. Congratulations on your move and talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, I've been hearing that news for, I don't know, decades. Everybody knows that Subway's shit isn't real. I still eat there, though, because it's delicious. Maybe I'll do those pranks. Hey. Hey. I hope everyone is doing okay. Sure is. Are you doing okay at the moment, Brad? See, I'm like that guy from earlier that was doing the weird filter thing on his voice. I was going to say, I've done a, a few, is it name drops, they call it, and I think, uh, I, I don't know, did you just send, did I send them to your email address, or is there somewhere, or do you want to send them to do the voicemail, because I, I don't send think... Send them to my email address? I don't know. rbcp at phonelosers.org is a good email address to use. Hey Brad, this is Nick. Hey Nick. Yeah, I just recently heard about your website being down, and I... Actually, sent in some. Yeah, that was related to the emails. But don't worry, like, I'm pretty sure if the email doesn't come through, it gets sent back to you. And sometimes I get the email and it still gets sent back to you. So people send them again. I don't think emails are getting lost, though. Numbers while your website was quote unquote down. Or maybe they are, I don't know. Actually, I just had like an offline version of the website brought up and I was uh, plugging stuff into the form. Ah, oh, shit. And just, uh, apparently he was sending out, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully hopefully you got it. I messed up a whole day of you trying to send me prank requests of your next door numbers. Oh, the numbers out of the past two days. Uh, I'm sorry. Good numbers and also a few couple good ideas. Yeah. Sorry. Love the show. Great calls. Thanks. But the calls from my numbers are the greatest. That's, and everybody else that's true. Thank you. Hopefully you're a uh, Hobosodes subscriber because I've done a lot of your numbers on the Hobosodes. But I guess I do a lot on here too. Hello, Brad. It's Christine. Hey. hey, so I have a tiny bone to pick with you. Oh, shit. Um, like, uh, like a couple months ago, I sent a request for like a, like a membership card, and uh, I haven't gotten it yet. Oh, but yeah. you did do a show on my birthday. Yeah, I just took your money, and you're not getting anything. So I forgive you. Anyway, I hey. hope you're doing well. I love the show as always. Super caught up, and I'm what? I'm super caught up. Okay. Anyway. No, no, don't play the voice now. I, I give up. Okay, no, bye, bye, bye. All right. Sorry, Christine, that I haven't sent you a membership card yet. I'm looking at my email right now. Yes, I see your membership card request here from February 16th of this year. I just haven't done it yet. And there's uh, several other people in here, too. Actually, there's one in here from 2019 that I haven't done. So I'm going to do it. I promise. I definitely will be doing it. The main thing was just the whole, uh, you know, me moving thing. And for the longest time, I didn't even know where my ID making stuff was. And if you guys don't know what Christine's talking about, if you're a supporter of the show on the website or the Patreon, you can get an ID card. But usually it takes me forever to make those, even when I'm not moving. It'll get done, though, eventually, I promise. Sorry for the wait. Hey, Brad, it's Justin from Maryland. Just hey. a reminder to do that voicemail episode. All right. Also, I just went to snowplowshow.com. I know. And I am getting this domain... I know. Thing. Did you yeah. like, like, forget to re-up the the rights to snowplowshow.com? Because it I looks didn't. like I hope nobody is about to like buy you out and like buy the domain name from under you. That would Get suck. your shit together, Brad. Bye. Now the domain name's paid for. I was just doing some stuff with the email because the emails haven't been working. I don't know why the emails decided to stop working. It sucks. Hey, Brad. It's hey. Marcus Biscuit. Hi. Just call and call and let you know it's a very special day today. It's a birthday. Today would mark the 100th birthday of Mildred Monday. Oh shit! Happy birthday, Mildred. Happy birthday, Mildred. Okay, now hang up. I guess I'm a little late though. He left that voicemail on July 29th. Happy not a birthday, Mildred. Hey, Brad. It's Loon. Usually I call from a payphone, but. I'm currently locked up in the psych ward, so yeah, oh, no yeah. loon in the loony bin. Yeah. No payphones there. But this is the closest thing that they have a payphone to here. Anyways, um, I don't know when I'll be able to hear this podcast, but when, what's that phone number that people can call in uh, to listen to the prank calls? That's all I need to know. What? Even though I won't get this message a for a while. Carlito had a number like that, where you could listen to his shoutcast stream through a phone number. I don't know how he had that set up, though. 
And I don't have a lot of prank calls on my line. But you know what? If you want to call Beverly, I hear she likes to talk to people in the psych ward. You should get some of your roommates to call her. Her phone number is 270-558-1710. You can just make your own prank calls. Hey Brad, Hayden from Orlando. Hey. I just watched the conversation and it's pretty cool. It's about hacking and listening to people uh, using cool tech and there's I've a hacker never convention heard of it. in it. Pretty neat. Uh, it's almost as good as that awkward moment with Zac Efron. No. Uh, you know how dreamy he is. But uh, yeah, that's yeah. it. Watch the conversation. I don't think it's... It can't be that good. Come on. So by Francis Ford Coppola. Great. I'm going to stop playing voicemails and end the show, because holy shit, I have so much editing to do after that long intro I did. What was I thinking? So thank you, everybody, for the voicemails. Thanks to the sponsors of today's show, Inspector Ratchet, Mr. John, Probix, FOD87, and I Rasputin, the Tasteful. Is it I Rasputin, the Tasteful, or A Rasputin? I don't know. I don't know words. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Don't forget to call Beverly. Don't forget to listen to the Daisy radio station, which you can listen to over at worldofprankcalls.com. I also set up all four of those radio stations on phonelosers.com, too, in the sidebar. So on either one of those websites, you can listen to prank calls while you're on the website. All right, bye, everybody. Here's some super rapper. Super rapper. The right fist to justice. The left hand to getting you and your man's name on the VIP club. Straight retarded. Hello? Hello, Beverly? Yes. Hey, it's Roy from the trailer park. If you start your fucking shit again, buddy, my gra- my uh, nephew can trace your number. No, Even no. though you're using a burn phone. No. Now, it's... you try your fucking shit with me anymore, buddy. Ma'am. I'll see you in jail for harassment. No, it, it's not like that. I, I'm calling from the office. I, I needed to let you know You about don't some... belong to the office. I've already talked to everybody. They don't know who the fuck you are. Uh, no, uh, you want to keep it up? Well, no, like, no, that we, I know we told you, you that. you want to keep it up, buddy? Because I'm going to see you in jail. I'm a widow, and I know how to play that to the full extent. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So you want to play? Well, Let's it's... play, buddy. Come to the house. Let me show you what my concealed carry looks like. No, it looks... Would you like to do that? Come on over, honey. Ma'am, I don't think you understand. I, I actually do work in the office. I don't think you do. I think you're fucking mentally ill. No, I, I, I just got this job Come like over, last Roy. week. Let me show you my concealed carry. You're going to feel really dumb when you find I'll out I really work here. I'll your fucking belly button through your spine. What is your last thought going to be? Oh, uh, it's going to be ow. You that really play? hurts. Come over, Roy. Come over, Roy. Let's play. You're not you a nice lady. Play? You're not a very nice lady. I'm not a nice lady, honey. I'm a motherfucking bitch. Whoa. And I will rip your fucking face off and shove it down your throat. Can you not... Come over, Roy. Can you not curse on the phone? I'm a Christian. Oh, what kind of a Christian plays your fucking games? <laughs> Give me a break. May God strike you dead, you piece of shit. But I, I really am in the office. Look, I just you, got this uh, job. Really? Really? I've talked to Richard, Teresa, and the security guard. Yeah, but that and was... I also know that you've made calls to other people because they also complained about you. That was a month ago, though. Like, since then... You do not work at the office. I've come clean, and they hired me here, weirdly enough. They did not hire you. Oh, okay, they, they felt come bad. to my house. Show me paperwork. I'm the only one here in the office, so I can't leave right you now? You are fucking full of shit, buddy. I was just up there and talked to Teresa. So let's play another game. Look, I just wanted to tell you about your new neighbor. Like, uh, I don't see why you have to yell at me. There is no new neighbor here. Nobody has moved in. We're going to put a trailer par- a trailer on top of your trailer. And Roy, there, and there's gonna be you stairs. know what, Christian, sweetie... I already told you once before, my nephew is a deputy sheriff. I already got the first phone number that you called from. Uh I will will get another phone number from you. They'll trace you down, and I'm going to see you in jail for harassment. No, it's not harassment. Like I told you, sweetie, I know how to play the widow bit to the full extent. I don't think they'll believe you, though. Oh, what? That my husband's not dead? Also, sweetheart, when you said, Roy, I hit the button on my answering machine. <sighs> I've got this whole motherfucking shit. Recorded. You're
you're recorded, baby. Uh, don't record me. I don't give you permission to record. I don't give a motherfuck if you do or not. I accidentally hit a button, and you're being recorded, and I'm going to give it to my nephew. Don't give it to your nephew, please. I Anything have every intention of giving it to my nephew, along with both the phone numbers. And all the other ladies you called also got the phone numbers, dummy. Shit. We've got them on our phone. Crud. You are Crud. too stupid to live. Can, can I you just, realize that, can, right? Can I just apologize and then you won't Why don't it? you find something to do? Get a motherfucking job. Walk a dog. Do something other than harassing people. I'm not allowed and around I dogs. I will report this again to the office with your name and your phone number. Even if I apologize? Can I just it doesn't do any good. I am. This is my only day off, and I don't want to deal with a piece of shit like you. Now, I'd love you to come over, sweetheart. If, I've gone to all the classes. What I'll classes? drag your lifeless body in here after I put you away. Okay, you if, think I'm kidding? Can, come over, buddy. Can I? If I apologize, will I've you not? got a Remington that just would love to know your name on its muzzle. If if I come, come over, over, buddy. If I come over and I apologize, will you not kill me? You come over, I'm gonna blow your belly button through your spine. You already said that one. Uh yeah, it works, honey. Well, like, what if I do some yard work for you and, and make up I for this? I don't want, I've got my own handyman that takes incredibly good care of me. Yeah, but I can do better than him. You can't even hardly probably walk or blow your nose. I can't Anybody so. that does this kind of shit is brain damaged. I was just trying, I, I actually work in the office, ma'am. You like, do not work in the office. I really do. If you call the office and ask him, they'll tell you we hired that guy that was making those calls because he's actually a really nice guy. Oh, Richard wouldn't and do that. And Richard a, isn't going to put up with your a, fucking shit. Yeah, and he's a Christian and, and like, no. We, Richard we, is a Christian and doesn't deal with mentally ill harassing people. We had an understanding that, and it turns he out... He would not understand you. Nobody does. God is looking at you now and going, where the hell did I fuck up? No, God doesn't fuck up. He's perfect. You are, he, oh, hey, honey, when you, he allowed you to be born, he fucked up. No, 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 God's perfect. You, sh you know what? It's a shame abortions aren't retroactive. Your mother should have aborted you. Oh, that's not nice. You Come are on. a waste of Stop air. That. You can't say there that. There are people out there that need air, and you're taking it away from them. Oh, there's you plenty of air. You are a waste of air. You should have been an abortion. <sighs> That's mean. You should have been an aborted fetus because you're fucking nuts. And if you call me again, I'd love to know where you live, honey. I won't call you again. I, I just I was trying I to let you know about this. I would love to know if you live here in this park. Should I just send you a letter instead about the trailer on top of your trailer? You that send gonna... me a letter, buddy. I'll have it to my nephew for fingerprints. You want me to do that? Well, no, I work in the office, so sometimes I'm going to have to you be sending letters are... out. Fucking full of shit. Richard will tell you. You, you just Richard, ask him. we already talked to Richard. There's been a meeting, baby. Yeah, but that, that was a month There's ago. Been, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. Why don't you go away, aborted fetus, okay. and leave people that have jobs, work, pay their bills, and they contribute alone. Where do you work at? You contribute nothing but probably the stuff you put in the toilet. Where That's you, all your work. Where do you work at? None of your fucking business, except I'm a manager and been there going on eight years. Oh, really? Where at? That's cool. It's none of your fucking business. Well, I'm just, all you need to know is that I have a concealed carry. I'm just trying to make conversation. I'm being friendly. I don't want to talk to a piece of crap like you. Then why don't you hang up? And I've got your phone number and you're recorded. Yeah, but I apologize, so you're not allowed to report me. It doesn't me. matter. You apologized the last time you fucking called and told me my house was trash. No, I didn't say that. That was a different person. Yes, you did. And you know something? The last four years, my house was considered one of the prettiest with a sign in the front in this area. Oh, I know. I, I didn't really think your house was trashy. I just I said that to several That's people. That's exactly what you said to me, you piece of garbage. I know, but I said that to several people. It was nothing personal. Then what is your problem? Do you have nothing better to do? No, I don't.
I'm like, then you, find something better to do. Okay, like what? Like, if can you, you call me again, I'm going to have you arrested. Can you make suggestions on things I should do? Commit suicide. No, that's that's. Mia. Hello. 